sweetie. Good morning, love. Good morning, folks. Lester here, and happy Friday morning. Yep, it's Friday morning, and we're having a peek at all of our cows. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, Gracie, Pearl, and over here is Marilyn. So as of this morning, Friday, there are still no darn babies. And that's fine. I know that I'm excited. I know you're excited. But um, we also kind of have a number. We've been keeping the early September, 1st, 2nd, 3rd. So we still have a couple of days. The problem is we've all seen the mucus plug has popped. And then when you start seeing things kind of like dangling out of, of them, I know it sounds horrible, but when you start seeing things kind of start dangling out, uh, that just makes you think that it's, it's happening. And, and in fact, I think it is. It's just not happening fast enough for, for me. Now watch this. Gracie is trying to use that limb. She's trying to use a limb on that fallen pecan tree to scratch that area. I hope, now listen, I, gosh, I hope that there's no complications and everything's coming out okay because don't forget that she did have issues last time and she had to have us help. So mother nature is an amazing and remarkable thing. And so they can sometimes find ways to turn and shift babies around on their own. It's not like I can just walk over there and, you know, do that for her, friends. And of course, this is kind of neat. But everywhere that Gracie goes, Charlene is right with her. And uh, they were doing that yesterday as well. Gracie could not walk away from Charlene. So that's kind of neat that she has her little sister there to kind of like help her along. Pearl in the meantime. She must be waiting for everyone else to come join them for their daily migration around the pastures. Tex, who are you looking at, buddy? Who's got your attention today, huh? He's like, Dad, how much longer till I can be with my lady friends? Not that much longer, sir. I've done some calculating. I've done some calculating, and the time is coming, just not quite yet. Waylon, you'll have to wait as well, okay? You'll have to wait a while. He's like, man, but they, they smell so pretty. I know they smell pretty, sir, but it's not time. They'll smell, they'll smell pretty next year, too. And Gary's like, how long till I can be with a lady, Gary? No comment, Gary. Just no comment, okay? This is the time of day when all the babies who want a nice water down gather up. Come on, Tammy. Annie, Andy. I also try to come out and fill up the water trough. Give them a nice fresh start. Hi, sir. How does it feel so good? Feel wonderful? Nice and cool. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Look out, Timmy. <laughs> Coming out to have a peek at the weather, I was sitting in the house and I could hear this thunder clapping and off in the distance. 
And it's true, our skies are starting to cloud up a little bit, which means we might be getting some more rain. You all know we got quite a bit yesterday. We were very blessed for that, a little over half an inch. And so that's wonderful. That will do wonders for our grass. All of the goats are beginning to kind of walk up. They're kind of hanging out close to the loafing shed for a just in case scenario. They don't want to be too far away if it does rain. There's Laverne on top of the hay. You guys have been asking about her and she's going to be fine. She lost her baby. You know, she had a baby that was born breached a little over a week ago and we were not actually here at the time. So even though we knew she was close, we did not know that she was going to have it while we were gone and just that's just kind of how it happens sometimes. What's cute is and also sad is Dinky Daryl. He wants to be out with them horses and ponies so bad. <laughs> eh, instead, he just stands at the fence and watches them. Every once in a while, he'll holler at them and just kind of, kind of a cat call the way a lot of weirdos men do. He cat calls to the ladies. Poor Daryl. But uh, no, we're actually watching the sky cloud up. It's been overcast most of the day. We got some clouds off in the distance and we are gonna keep our fingers crossed that we can get some of that amazing rain here. Cause I'll tell you what, our yard can sure use it. And one thing that's kind of bad about rain and we kind of knew this is gonna be a problem is look it. You all know how hard we've worked in this flower bed, this new flower bed to make it pretty. And uh, we, what we do not have though is a gutter. We never have a gutter put up top and with that half inch of rain yesterday, it fell down and a lot of our potting soil washed right out of the flower bed into the yard. So that would be the only downfall. And of course, don't judge the extension cord. That's only temporary. We have that so we can put a fan on for Vu when he comes in in the afternoons and at night. But uh, we'll move all that out of the way. And I do think, um, last thing I'll say about this is that we do think that this is the last couple of days for Vu staying inside and separated from the other horses. His wound has healed up so nicely and there's only a very small hole, a drain hole anymore. And we don't think there's a reason to pull him off the pasture anymore. Oh Lord. Well, y'all hear that, don't you? There's Dinky saying hi to the girls. I want to continue and say one really neat thing about Vu and one way that he's unique and different than all the other horses and donkeys is whereas these guys always stay together, Vu is mature enough and he's, um, I guess a good word is independent enough to whatever he knows that he needs to do something different for his own personal care, he will do that. And what he's done on his own is walked over to go inside the barn. I know you can't see from here and it's too far to zoom in, I'm afraid. But so Voodoo has gone on his own into the barn because he knows it's that midday. And that's what he does every day during the midday. So, anywho, sorry, Dinky. <laughs> oh, Dinky Daryl loves him some donkeys. And they are pretty, y'all. You have to admit, these are some pretty girls we got here. Not you, Dan, the donkeys. All right. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.